What's the, what's the environment been like with you guys the last past few days in the locker room? Just reacting well, to that. Well, next guy has to step up. You know, Cornell is probably one of the most versatile players on our team. He's a leader. He's he's a leader, not just a D line, but as a whole defense, as a whole, even the team. And uh, it's hard, but we have to fill those shoes, which we probably can't fill them, but we have to take that opportunity and go with it and run with it. But this, you'll probably be getting an, an increase in snaps, an increase in, in playing time. Uh, yeah, how comfortable are you in just playing with this defense? Well, I'm comfortable. I mean. I trust my teammates. I trust I got to do my job well. I got to prepare for the game. And I learned most of my things from Quanzo. You know, he's like a big brother to me and to all of our team. And um, I'm pretty excited, you know. I have to take that opportunity and I got to run with it. You know, what's the anticipation like with this, you know, um, with the increased role going into a place like Ohio State playing? against a team like that? Oh, it's a hostile environment, absolutely. But uh, they put a, they put their pants on just like we do. We got to play tough football. We trust in the coaches. Staff. And if we do our job, anything can happen. Anything's possible. Any given Saturday. Um, Quanzel's me message, did he give you a message or did try to? Well, Quanzel just said, stay focused, be prepared. He, I mean, he's a quiet, he's kind of an unsung hero on our team. He does everything right. And, he trusts us. We were all brothers, and we're going to be all right. But his message is just keep working hard and keep pushing. Is there a key to stopping like a running quarterback like JT Barrett, you know, not letting him get out of the pocket and doing everything that he can do? Well, yeah, you can, but he's a versatile player. We just got to, if we do our job correctly, do what the coaches tell us, we can stop him. Darnell, you guys are, your defense is the most efficient defense in the red zone of the nation. You've only allowed teams to score, I think, three times in 11 trips. Just what is there? Do you guys work on that at all in practice specifically? What, what, what's the key to that? To well, you have to work on it every single day in practice. I mean, the red zone is very key. That's where most of the points are scored, whether it's a touchdown or a field goal. And every day we work on that. We work on the red zone. We work on two men, and, and we've been showing out for, uh, for on Saturdays with it. And I think we're doing pretty well. We just have to keep it up. Thank, Thank you. you.